So, can we talk? Yeah, sure. Hey everybody, this is Gabby, and Eli, Max, and special and guest Rupert. Sorry, I came in too soon. Oh no, <laughs> it's it's fun. Uh, we really, it's Skype delay plus I didn't tell you how we were going to introduce, because we never decide on that beforehand. Um, yeah, this is a special episode of Percentages, our first actual guest. That never My happens. Son. Uh, yes, Max's uh, son, one of the many. <laughs> Max has Everyone about 40 children. Um, <laughs> but I, I am quite say, on Twitter as being number one. Yes, you yes. are the number one favorite son. Uh, yeah, Max has a lot of children, and... <laughs> I've been busy, what can I say? <laughs> I, I'm not even going to comment on that. Uh... <laughs> No, um, yeah, so we, we're, we like Rupert quite a bit, and Rupert makes, uh, has a cool podcast, and does cool stuff on the internet. There's only one episode so far. Yeah, I know, I was wondering, good job by bumping the mic, uh, I was wondering when the next one was coming out. I almost died. Um, well, it was meant to come out about a week or so ago, but I, I'm, I haven't really done enough to justify doing another one, so probably this weekend. Oh come on! We as well. We never justify doing. We never do enough to justify doing <laughs> anything, and we still make this crap. Uh, I mean, how often do we rant? We talked about Superman's sperm for twenty minutes at one point. You did, and it was hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, that was. I was trying not to wet myself laughing in work. That was one of the just. Hell, last time we literally woke up and fifteen minutes later recorded a podcast where two of us were falling asleep. Yes. Oh, yeah, God. Was <laughs> that was definitely an episode that we did. Uh, but yeah, so tell the, I think, like, hundred or so people that listen to this podcast about yourself. Um, so I'm a graduate of drama with creative writing, and I'm trying to set up a Victorian steampunk tea room and theatre. Um, I'm 22. I'm from Dorset, which is... Uh, about a hundred miles or so away from London, um, in the southwest of England, um, it's like countryside, rural country bumpkin territory, um, and I love all things gentlemanly and tea-related. So I thought, why not set up a tea room in the theatre? Yeah. Uh, and you do do something else too. I do. Bodega. I would have got. Oh, uh, Bodega. Yeah. Um, oh, God. So, okay, that's how you pronounce so that. It's, it's derived from, it's slightly vain, it's the name of my Saxon ancestors, they were the Bodhursts. Um, so I took the first part of that and I combined it with Gaia, meaning world, and I made Boda Gaia. So that's a steampunk self-contained universe that I have occasionally write stuff for. Um, so yeah, that that's, um, I've got a Tumblr and other Twitter for that. But I'm mainly focusing on Steam Party at the moment. Yeah, um, and we'll have links to all that, all that stuff. And uh, oh shit, I, I had a specific question. I am horrible at this. I've never done like an interview-ish type thing, so you I know, had a specific you can, question. You can write so. down. I am awful at writing things down. Um, yeah, I damn it. Now my brain is shot. Sorry. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll just edit this. Uh, no. Uh, I, I, each time I try to think of something... Okay, just a second. Anyway, so... How did you end up finding our random crab? <laughs> um, that's a question I'd love to answer. Um, so I was um, getting Bodegaia sort of rolling on Tumblr. And I was looking at hashtags, and I just typed in hashtag airship, uh, and I scrolled through uh, on this. I think it was the, I can't remember what day it was. I was just kept scrolling through and through, and I found this really cool little audio novel um, 
voiced by this amazing person. Um, um, and I was just sort of listening to the first part. And then I went, oh, this sounds cool. So I followed back to the website and then listened to the next one and the next one. Um, and then listened to the re-releases and got really into um, The Hunted Sky. Voiced by your good self, Gabby. Um, <laughs> one of all the reasons I kept listening to it is because you've got a really good voice. Um, I hope this comes out as a compliment, but you kind of remind me a bit of Eric Todd Dellums, who voices Free Dog and Nazir in the, like, the Basidia games. You've got the radio sort of resonance and tone and the way you can sort of alter your voice for, to make all the different characters sound unique is really impressive to me um, as an actor. What's up, so. Wastelanders? This is Three Dog. <laughs> bow wow. With your voice in the darkness. Or at least the radiation. I love Three Dog. I, the Three Dog is the best Fallout character. <laughs> no, um... Can you, can you give me some time to prefer before you do something like that? Because my, my broveries are just sort of... Ah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you for all the compliments, though. Um, yeah, I, I am so happy that the tag airship actually was worth putting in there because it was the first tag I, I, it was the first thing I tagged it with, and I've never tagged it with it since. <laughs> Perhaps you should. I, I, I was just like, that's a stupid thing to tag it with. Nobody's ever gonna search airship. Well, fuck me. I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no, um... Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, you the downside like is an engine, Gabby's so. head is not... Gabby's head's not gonna uninflate for, like, the next week. <laughs> are you kidding me? I am... I, th- I, I, I despise myself enough to where any compliments are immediately shunted out by self-deprecation. No, uh, like, stop you, that. Gabby needs some inflation, so, so take the compliments, because they're, they're genuine. I'm not, I'm not into inflation, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's not on my kink list. I am so sorry. <laughs> no, <Gabby>. um, <laughs> hey, it's Let's still percentages. It. I have to keep it percentages. <laughs> <laughs> Which I still don't understand why we haven't changed the name of this stupid podcast. Mostly, I guess, what mostly did... because uh, I Apple won't let me change it on iTunes. No, where did the name come from? Have I have I missed that? By uh, I think. Just... Was it we two, talked about it. It was two, two weeks ago, ago yeah. I think we answered it. it just because, obviously, not everybody listens to this stupid thing every week, because I I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> but, Stop uh, deflating your head. Essentially, it's just... It was originally, like, a, a audio diary for me, and after 100 episodes, I was going to quit. But then it turned into whatever the fuck this is, so we stopped. I just was like, well, I can't change the name now. Um, and I just, I just had Max come onto it because I could, and then I was like, well, I guess now I have to get everybody onto this, and there's no point in changing the name, so it's now percentages forever, even though that makes zero sense for what it is now. Yes. <laughs> so good. Uh, God, no, um, yeah, I'm really glad you like Hunted M. That's, like, the one thing I do that I freak out the most about. <laughs> uh, it's because when you, when you write, you put a lot of yourself into it. You put your soul into what you make and you do. So I suppose that part of you might be scared about showing that to people. That's just a weird speculation. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, and then also the whole voice acting thing, because that's what, kind of what I want to do at, at some point with like in semi-professional ways but there's no way in fuck that'll ever happen <sighs> well it's a good place to start yeah. yeah okay i have not asked max how have you been we have barely spoken in the last few days i'm this is the this is the earliest i've been up in a while <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> it's like what it's nine? it's 19 past nine at the moment yeah you t- yeah. You have to wake up early wake up today. Because I, I didn't day. wake up yesterday. Yeah, that's okay. I'm sorry. Okay, but, yeah. so the, essentially the story is it has been. It's hard to get three time zones all together to record something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Especially yeah. when those three time zones are in three very distinct parts of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
like, very, very hard to get this all together. So we ended up, uh, we finally figured out a time after, what was it, four days of trying to figure out when we could. Uh, we yeah. finally were like, okay, we'll do it this day at this time. And I am an idiot, and I accidentally set my alarm for 3.45 p.m. instead of a.m. Completely slept through the time we were supposed to record. <laughs> it's okay. And Back to I, that, we just sat there going, where's Gabby? Um, where's Gabby? Yeah, I woke up to a bunch of messages. There's like 28 messages in, in the Skype group and a couple messages from Max, and I'm just like, I am good. sorry. <laughs> I think my only one was just like Gab Gab. Yeah. Oh, you sent me two. You're like oh, Gab Gab Gabby. Because <laughs> you uh, sent me another one at six twenty in the morning. Uh, oh, that's shortly funny. before I woke up. It was a. Uh, it was an interesting day. It's been an interesting <laughs> few days. Uh, okay. How's your How's your back? Is it? Oh, mm, my back and elbow are just jacked up from work. So, <laughs> that's what happens when you carry 50 to 75 pound boxes up and down a ladder for four to five hours at a time. Ow. Yeah, it happens. Oh, well. I'm more worried about my elbow, because it was starting to get better, and it's back to clicking whenever I bend it, so that's a thing. Doesn't sound fun. And, Eli, how have you been this past week? This has been an interesting week for me. I have not been at work for like three weeks now because my new job doesn't start until almost the end of May. Um, so I've just been around the house which is strange. <laughs> also, one of my rats died and that was very oh. upsetting. Oh, honey. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry but... for your loss. Oh yeah, we never told you, Max. Oh, yeah, it was, it was Clove, the gray and white one. Oh no. Yeah, it sucked, but she oh. was sick for like a good month yeah, and a half been before sick. now. Mostly yeah. now I'm worried because Odette's all alone, and she seems to be doing fine right now. I'm just hoping she doesn't get sad and lonely because rats like to live in groups. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so that's been this week. Uh, it's been a week. Yeah. Um. So, I linked you to, before I went and fucked everything up, uh, I linked you to the, uh, the Kickstarter for Chip. Uh, what did you two think about that? I was waiting for Raven to go. Um, I, I thought it was really cool because, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, Skype is lagging like a fuck ton. Yeah, Skype's shit. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. That uh, Rupert, you go. Uh, okay. Um, it's just the processing power of something that small, and you don't really think of computers being that tiny. Um, and then the fact that it can plug into so many different formats for the size it is it's actually quite impressive yeah um Although, look more at it there seems to be different versions you can get for different things like hdmi and vga yeah there's a um there's a uh not a composite video a vga and an hdmi version of them um ah, that's what i was looking for uh, and then there's also a, it, it, it's ugly as all fuck, but it comes with a, like, a four-inch touch, or uh, touch screen, or four-inch LCD with a QWERTY keyboard and everything, and I believe it's a touch yeah. screen, but, it, and that's, that's for, like, the $64 version of it, which, that's still ridiculous, <laughs> um, and it just makes you, it, you just look at it and it's like, well, that's, uh, that's kind of... A ridiculous um, it, it's a one gigahertz uh, atom processor or not atom um, arm processor a half gig RAM and four gigs of storage in it and something that's probably a fourth the size of my palm 
It's it's not even as big as a credit card. And that's kind of fucking amazing. And it yeah. it does a it, it comes pre preloaded with a uh, with a copy of Linux on it, so that's it's pretty good. And they've also like computers are becoming so much tinier. Um, there's also this. I'll link it to you too. In Skype, it's a uh, it's a hundred and fifty dollar HDMI Windows PC. It's a it's a dongle, like a little tiny Chromecast sized stick that has an yeah, HDMI don't... port, power port, and, every, and a full USB port on it, and everything else. It has uh, two gig RAM, thirty two gig of solid state, a one point three uh, Atom processor in it. Um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a, and a micro SD card slot for it. In something that is as like it's as big as like an, a Wi-Fi adapter. That's really cool. And it's a PC. That's that's a piece of that's wow. Yeah. So, my, uh, sorry, Max. What did you think about the 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 chip? Oh, like, I thought it was really cool, just, like, that something that small has that much potential. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's about it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool little thing. Like, it's funny to see how much smaller... It, it's funny to see how much smaller uh, it, it that computers are getting, and it kind of shows that yeah. the phone market is fucked. Like, they, when you can have something this powerful in a stick, like, I get that screens cost something, but when you have something like the chip, which is $9 for the base model, that is as good as some phones that sell for, like, 200 bucks nowadays, the screen is not $141. <laughs> that does not cost them that much to produce that screen. So, I don't know, they... It just seems like phones are kind of going away. Or not going away, but they're getting they're like in terms of their market, they're they're way overpriced for what they could be, which has been shown by companies like OnePlus and stuff like that and I don't know. Well at very least the um the major producers are gonna have to drop their prices to compete. Because if some if these things are being released for you know nine to sixty dollars, yeah, nobody's gonna buy a two hundred dollar phone if that's the way the market's going. Well, I can yeah. still even see a two dollar unless it's phone. I don't know maybe an iPhone. Well, that's because that's everybody just will wanna... spend a billion dollars on. They spend five hundred dollars on a damn Apple Watch that doesn't do anything. <sighs> don't get me started on that again. Let's not, yeah, let's not even. Uh, what these guys lack is sort of distribution and things like that. And I suppose they need a lot of money to be able to buy in bulk, which, by the looks of their Kickstarter page, they've got more than the money they needed. Oh, yeah. They were only looking for 50,000 and they're at, what, uh, almost two quarters of a. Wait. Whoa, that went up way more than it was when I last seen it. Uh, if it's really at eight. Wow. I had, when I looked at it before, it was at like six hundred something. When I linked it to you, it's gone up another two hundred thousand dollars since then. I thought you told me eight hundred thousand earlier. Ooh. Did I? I think so. Oh, uh, maybe I did. Eight hundred thirty-five thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars. That's still a ridiculous amount of money. They're almost at a million dollars. Ugh. Uh, that's. I don't know. Kickstarter's cool. Uh, I kickstarted a game, so I'm gonna see how that goes. Uh, still waiting on oh, the last I one. Oh, did I ugh the wrong thing? I ugh to the wrong thing. I feel really bad now. What did you ugh? <laughs> I thought we were still talking about the iWatch, and you said however much Chip had raised. No, yeah, that was that how was much... how much Chip raised. <laughs> I'm sorry. I take back my ugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the iWatch or the Apple Watch. I'll look up. I'll look up the Apple Watch uh, sales figures so far. They said it was their fastest selling thing, but they um, 
Okay, I'll, ugh, that, yeah, that'll but, ugh. Yeah, but the thing is, the, it can be your, it can sell out faster than everything else if you produce very few of them. So, yeah, yeah, I don't, like, I, I know somebody who's, who pre-ordered one when pre-orders open and they're not getting theirs until October. So, mm. Mm, no, that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Can I do the English, uh, ignorant English thing and just quickly translate the dollars raised to the pounds for people? Um, oh, yeah, no, oh, please yeah, do. Sure. I have no, I have no So, idea. yeah, by the looks of it, um, they've raised £536,000 for this chip, um, which is an awful lot of money. Um, yeah. How long has this been on Kickstarter for? A couple days. Wow. Uh, There's a high demand for this, then. It started... On the sixth, so it's been five days. And uh, how many pounds did you say it was, Rupert? Uh, five hundred and thirty-six thousand seven hundred and four and forty-five pence. Uh, I... uh, in Australian dollars, that's about ten thousand five hundred eighty dollars upwards. So that's ten thousand five hundred eighty. Really cool. What? What? The pound is bigger than the dollar, apparently. <laughs> yeah, well, everything's bigger than the uh, the Australian dollar, but... Fuck off. <laughs> no, that's... Like, the Australian dollar is not worth that much. I, it, it translates to, like, 72 cents American, and, Ameri and US dollars is shit right now. Um, yeah. No, but it would be over a million in terms of uh, Australian dollars yeah, right 1, now. Yeah, 1,058,724... Pounds. Yeah. I may have got my numbers wrong. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's over. It's over a million Australian dollars. Yeah, that's a nice. that's a lot of that's, that's, a, lot that's of a lot of stuff. And now we're just talking about that's tech, and Eli stuff. is just utterly silent. <laughs> They've been <laughs> chewing on their like, fingers oh. this whole time. Oh, you didn't have to tell oh, everyone yeah. I'm chewing on my fingers. <laughs> well, that's what you're doing. Uh, French, yeah, everything. Oh yeah. Um, no, oh my god, that is well, a corgi were... doing the razzle-dazzle. Yes. Gonna uh, you saw what I reblogged? Gonna yes. save that picture and put that in uh, as the image for today's show notes. Uh, <laughs> a corgi doing the razzle-dazzle. Um, Look at the bum. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing any sales figures for the Apple Watch. Either way, I've, I've yet to hear anybody talk about how it's changed their life or done anything for them. In any way that isn't just, I can look at my text messages on my wrist now. Well, the thing that was so yeah. upsetting about it was that you have to have an iPhone. Oh yeah, you have like, to. That's what really threw me off, is I didn't expect it to just be a really expensive add-on to the iPhone. Uh, wait, I was you didn't expect yeah. that coming from Apple? No, I was Apple? assuming, well, okay, you know, I, I was assuming it would be its own standalone product. No, this is but... Apple, not, this isn't Android, this is Apple. Because at least with Android I Wear, I don't own like the Apple, Moto 360 so. and I believe the LG one, both can, uh, um, both of them can be used with Wi-Fi only. So you, I could go buy a Moto 360 for a hundred and fifty dollars, a fourth of the cost of an Apple Watch, or whatever, a third of it, or whatever it is. For hundred and fifty bucks, I can go buy a Moto 360 and use it without my phone, compared to spending. Five hundred dollars on an Apple Watch that I have to buy a six hundred to thousand dollar phone to use. No, thank you. No, thank you. I, I, I like my. I don't know. I just I like my. Uh, money. Money. And yeah. I would like I would I would build a, a really awesome fucking computer for that much. But Ooh. yeah. So what's everybody been up to? Um, I don't I know. I'm story. running out of things to, to ask about, so. I have a story of what I am, have been up to. Oh god, your stories are always good. <laughs> so, um, one of my friends has tried to put me up on a blind date with this one guy that she knows. And we were going, like, it, like it was all well and good. Like, I've been talking to him for a little while, and yeah, he's, he's okay. But he's hit the third strike today. Well, oh. last night. Oh dear. So, like, 
strike one is that he's like I like I'm not really a very talkative person like I usually respond when other people talk first because I'm quite shy and I don't usually do the talking first um second strike is that he keeps talking about another girl and it's like can you not your friend is like put you up to this to try and pair people together and just stop that and then last night the final straw it was I can't remember how it came about but like I said that gender is a social construct and he's like oh there's the start of an argument and so well you, you know. can go fuck yourself yeah but now I have two tickets to the cat cafe and I'm taking both of them good <laughs> pick <Good>. myself <laughs> so yeah that's my story He's a dick. <laughs> yeah. I think the most interesting thing that happened to me this weekend was I went to a barbecue at my mom's house and found out she incompletely castrated the sheep. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Tell... Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell the lovely that, people that about this one. Messy. <laughs> so, my family has raised sheep on and off throughout the years. And yeah. my, I, I was castrating sheep when I was like nine or ten. It's it's not really that difficult. The biggest thing you have to do, you have to wait long enough. And my mom didn't wait long enough, so some of her sheep still have one ball. Oh my god! Yes, I was very upset by. Is... Like it's not that. <laughs> If it doesn't, if it does, if you can't, if you can't like grab onto it, you don't do it. Then you wait a little longer. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, you have to be able to God. firmly grasp the sheep balls. It wouldn't be a percentages without something <laughs> like this. <laughs> this is this is a certainly unique. Firmly grasp. <laughs> firmly grasp <laughs> them sheep balls. I was so upset, and I told oh. her. I told her, I said, Mom, if you need help, I well, I said docking tails, but they have sheep that keep their tails. If I, I said, if you need help docking tails or castrating, I will come over and help you. Because I know how to do it, because I did it when I was very small, and I never had a problem with it. Didn't she do it at, like, eight years old? Yeah, I was eight or nine. I was eight when we first got sheep, so I was probably nine when we had the first lambs. Yeah. So, Jesus. and my, my dad wouldn't help with it. So my mom was like, oh, well, uh, let's go castrate the sheep. But I had a, a but I was in 4-H, so I'd already been taught how to do it. But my mom just kind of went out there and... I'm... I was so upset with her. I was just like, mom, I told you I will come over and help you. You should have just, you should have just waited. You should, when you grabbed that scrotum, you should have realized this sheep is not ready. <laughs> okay. Considering myself and what eventually, when I have the money, is going to happen to me, I'm still uncomfortable with how you said I'm that. I'm so upset with her! You don't understand! Like, this oh is something God. I did as a small child! I was capable of doing this! And my mother... Like, I, the, the sh oh, it's really upsetting. Yeah, because those sheep are going to oh, go through a lot of pain. Like, uh, you can't just, if you're going to raise animals, you can't just, like, <laughs> go halfway with things. All I can think of is hit the sheep. That's the only oh my thing god. I'm glad someone else had the same thought as me. Oh Yay! my god, Hitler <laughs> sheep. Hitler sheep is the title of the episode. Percentage is 28. <laughs> Is Hitler sheep? Uh, okay, I'm torn between Hitler sheep or botched castration. Either one is a really fucked up title. Oh, right there. God, this is this is definitely a thing that we're doing right now. Um, I, I, I wouldn't be so, I wouldn't be so you know so worked up over this if it wasn't something that a nine year old could do with no problem. Yeah, exactly. Your mom's just really bad at. She's. Life. And my parents should not be allowed to own animals. 
Oh no, I know. Because Vinny and everything else has happened. Like, no, your your parents are awful. But they didn't have children though. The things you've told me about you growing up, like, yeah. no, no. They shouldn't have any living beings besides themselves to look after because they can't even do that half the time. That's true. That's look true. at your dad's business. <laughs> That's true. Also, never link this anywhere where he could possibly see this. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. Never link them to the YouTube channel. I won't. Good. I won't. Um, yeah, I don't know. They I don't even know I know what the word fuck means. So... Yeah. How does it not know oh, Rupert, you don't know. It's a, 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 a. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> sometime when we, when it, sometime we'll have to all just chill and talk, and I we can tell you yeah. about about Eli's parentage because they are yeah. uh, something. Uh, <laughs> shit. <coughs> no, the. Uh, I also just realized that this is going to be the smallest, because uh, uh, I'm using Bandicam to record this, because we found that actually works really well, um, mm. but it's also having to record a video while I do it, so it's currently recording a 128 by 64 video of my desktop. <laughs> nice. I could just include that somewhere on the video version of this the whole time it's running, just that, that piece of my desktop. The teeniest. <laughs> the teeniest. Well, it's on a 1080p monitor, so it's like the sliver of my desktop being recorded right now. <laughs> Teeny do you, tiny. Do you hope you have a safer work background? Uh, it's the same background that's on the computers in Deus Ex Human Revolution. Which I have played. <laughs> it's I'm so terrible. good. That one I had as well. Oh my god, next time. You have it in, you have it in your Steam library, though, thanks to me. Um, like one of my housemates has it. It's so you you've got to, you've got to give it a shot. It's so good. I was honestly considering playing it while we were recording, but then I realized that I the same thing that happened with Crypto the Necrodancer, uh it would record sound over top of you. So <laughs> that's why there was a cut there and us laughing because I accidentally started Crypto the Necrodancer and it started recording the sound music from that and I I'm Crypto bad the at this. Crypto the Necrodancer has great music though. I could, I could just I could just imagine sort of halfway through us discussing the beach here. Uh, I never asked for this. Just randomly cutting in as we're doing. Yes. Oh, thank God you've played Crypto the Necrodancer. No, the. I, I might just cut in some of the music there. Because um, I've decided I'm going to start adding background music to uh, podcasts anyway, because it's a little bit better than random breaks of silence. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I want to start. Okay. So, Rupert, you listen to our crap. I don't know why, but yes. you do. So you're the best person I can ask this. What the hell should we do with this stupid show? What, with percentages, with percentages specifically? Yes. What is something that you would like to have happen with it? Because we're out of ideas. <laughs> I enjoy hearing about the random crap that happens in your lives. I'll be perfectly frank. <laughs> um... You have such interesting and different lives, so it's really fun to hear what you guys are up to. Um, I like the audio yeah. um, diary style. Oh, um, I, I promise you, <laughs> Eli and I do not have interesting lives. We spend night. I don't think we've left the house today. Nope. No. Nope. We. I spent. I took a nap. That was that was the extent of my my I day. I cleaned my desk. Uh. I didn't the even record anything of today. I I we we the leave the most. Of my excitement life. is fluffy pajama pants that I'm currently wearing. That's my excitement levels. <laughs> yeah, but that's a good thing though. That's at least something cool. Like fluffy pajama pants. We potted some plants. Oh yeah, you guys pot. I didn't even do that. You did. Oh. You watched us pot plants. I slept. You slept while we potted plants. Yeah. What kind of plants were they? Um, one was a uh, a. Thing that like sun and the other one was from the bargain table <laughs> you don't even know oh. what kind of plants you bought oh my god uh, you don't need to know, to know well, that you love of, them one of them was like two dollars because it had been crushed by something else 
And Aww. the other one, we were specifically, we're putting it in a specific window, and so we were more looking at what its light requirements were, because it's a very, very hot, sunny window. Uh, yeah. I, I guess something interesting, um, we have, and this is, I guess, would be more backlog, but fuck it, uh, we have had nothing but hell lately with Record. Oh, hello, phone. What the fuck? Hang on, I actually have to check that. God damn it, phone. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it might be the post office calling back, finally. <laughs> like, six hours later? Yeah, uh, we have had literal hell recording lately. Um, Enslaved, which I was really enjoying playing, uh-huh. is broken. Like, just beyond broken. Uh, I ran into... This end of the second video is me running into a really bad game breaking bug that kind of stopped me cold for almost a week recording. I finally recorded more, ran into three more bugs, and also in the two hours that I recorded, half of the audio, half of my audio from the mic is pure static. No fun. Because, come to find out, my fucking USB cable for my snowball went out. So there was a short in it, and I didn't know. And that also happened to Eli with recording, like, two hours of uh, Claire. They lost all their audio for that because... And Super Brothers, which was such a great game. Oh, yeah, and the last... And I had so much fun playing it, and I lost it. One Hour to Impress, they lost uh, this past One Hour to Impress that was supposed to come out, was supposed to be Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery, and... uh, an entire hour of audio was dead. Um, <laughs> I was that, I was more disappointed in that than I was losing Claire. But yeah, that's been that's been our our week in recording shit. That's just been like, oh, everything is awful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Max has still not recorded anything. I'm sorry, I've been busy. Yeah, I know, you're always busy. You never have time to do I'm, anything with us excuse ever. Excuse me! I'm a uni student. Get off my back. I'm just giving you shit. How, how is uni yeah. stuff going, Max? Hmm. Sorry, I had a mouthful of water. Um, it's going good. Yeah, we're um coming up towards exams, but yeah, it's it's going well, yeah. Oh. Like, um, I've had six months experience with it at TAFE, so I kind of know all the A&P stuff that we're going over. But, yeah. And you did fine on your exams, even though you're freaking out about them at TAFE, you still did fine on them. I'm like, oh, shut up. <laughs> you, I told you multiple times you would do just fine, and you freaked out. I, I have so, well, I don't have the conversations anymore, because I've restart, I've reinstalled Windows like 20 times, so I don't have any of my Skype records. Yeah. But, I, we had, what, nine or ten conversations a day about you you were freaking out about not passing any of your exams and you did just fine on all of them? I mean to me. When I was in school, I did the same thing, though. I would always, I would lose it right before exams because I was afraid. And I, like, didn't know what I was doing. And I wouldn't study. I'd just get nervous and freak out about things and then I'd do fine on my exams, so. I was helping them study. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, walked into an exam not knowing it was exam day. And having <laughs> oh my zero God. preparation, and I still passed it, just barely. Uh, how, yeah. how do you not know it's exam day? I don't <laughs> like, know. The Maybe build up to exams the is the worst thing in the world. Like, it wasn't the final. It was just one of the, like, mid-semester something or other. I don't know. It was an art history class. Oh. So. Art history is not hard. Well, like, I got, I did the essay portion just fine. It was, like, the identifying who painted this and when. Yeah, they all look the fucking same. Some old white dude. Yeah. Like, that's what it is. It's just some old white dude from some time in, like, the... Probably from Italy. Yeah. Probably from Italy. 90% of the Netherlands, maybe? Maybe one or two from the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Mostly from Italy, though. The Dutch masters. Ugh. I'm mostly Dutch. Well, I'm... A quarter Dutch, I guess? And that's the biggest chunk... Oh, no, well, no. I guess the half Nigerian beats out the quarter Dutch, huh? Yeah, that, yeah. that's how fractions work. Yeah, I, I completely <laughs> forgot that I'm actually black. 
Uh, I like I have to think about it. Like, oh wait, hang on. Well, now that I'm not living in a state where with my uh, my skin color can literally get me killed for walking down the street, I don't think about it as much. I think about yeah. it as much whenever I see a cop. But outside of that, I'm just like, oh hey, I don't. I literally had somebody try to run me over when I was down in Texas, like, legitimately. Oops hit me with their car. I was yeah. way off the shoulder. Max, I was friends with you at the time, remember? They, I was walking home from work on one of the last days, and... Yeah, I remember. I yeah. remember. I was gonna comment on, like... I was gonna comment on, like, what do you mean you were friends with me? No, you know what I meant. We were we were friends at that time. I know, time. I'm sorry. It was, it was after sorry. we had met. Uh, no, I'm sorry, like, I gotta sass. Yeah, you have to sass, and that's why I sass back. No, I, I actually had somebody, I was way off the shoulder, um, and somebody drove off of the road and clipped me with their car. Like, that's not an uncommon thing. Wait, Washington's what? pretty chill as far as things go. Oh, Arizona, I got wrenches and shit thrown at me out of cars that were going by at like 60 miles an hour. I got Jesus. Hit, I got hit in the back with a what? wrench. Um, I got rocks thrown at me and shit. Yeah, no, that's... Not uncommon. Like, my brother's what? got no! shit thrown at him from cars. Zubby! But he's an asshole. So yeah. that's why. Your brother also is just an ass. That's, that's um, why people throw stuff Bryson at him. And is it's totally dead. because he's an ass. And what's totally dead? Racism is totally dead. Oh, yes, no. That's 100% dead. Totally. Racism doesn't, doesn't exist, no. Uh, yeah, no, like, that uh, kind of shit... Oh, I have I have stories from Texas though. I could I could spend an hour talking about the bullshit that happened in Texas. Ugh. Yeah. It's yeah. One of the states I haven't been to. Don't. I <laughs> just don't. No need don't. to be there. Um, I mean, the, the meat is cheap, but yeah, it's not I mean, really good worth barbecue. It. That's about the only thing in Texas. We can get cheap fish up here, so. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I don't know if I ever told it. Did I ever tell the story of that time I went in for a... I was I was wondering if this diner was hiring a shoulder or cook. Yes. Did I ever tell that story on the podcast? I don't think so. Uh, not since yeah, I've been you've here. told it to me, but I don't think you've said on the podcast. Oh. Okay, so there aren't many pictures of me on the internet, and that's purposely I actually scoured very long and hard to destroy most of them. Uh, there's one attached to account, an account that is not under any name anybody knows, and that's okay. I can't get into it, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> nobody knows the name, so nobody will ever find it. Uh, like, I can't get into it, but that's okay. No, it's fine. It's 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 my old Gaia account. No uh, one cares. No one... No that's one from 2005. No one gives a fuck about Gaia. Um, <laughs> what's but, Gaia? Oh god, don't, no, don't, that's... we'll yeah. talk about Gaia online some other time, because it is a thing, <laughs> it is a, although something good, I, I met Seiji through Gaia, so mm -hmm. that's like the best thing that ever happened for, that could have happened from that website for me, um, but no, I look Middle Eastern, just somehow the amalgamation of bullshit that made me, I look Middle Eastern, I have medium toned skin, I, it gets a lot darker when I'm out in the sun a lot, which, when you're walking around in Texas looking for a job in the heat during the summer, you're in the sun a lot. Um, I have curly hair, I have a wide nose, and I walked into a diner, wondering if they were hi hiring a short order cook in Texas, in Sulphur Springs, Texas, actually. Did uh, you accidentally walk into hell? Um, maybe. Um... <laughs> It, it was. It's the Metro Diner. I can describe exactly where it is. It's two blocks down from a Sonic, and that was about three or four blocks down from our our house there. Um, it's just around on the highway. But I walked in, and I came up to the hostess, and I was just like, "Hey, um, I was wondering if you guys are hiring." Before she can say a word, from the back, the cook that's in the back goes, and I'm going to use a slur here. I'm sorry in advance. We don't hire sand niggers here. And I just kind of looked, <laughs> and I turned around, and I walked out. <laughs> and that was not the only time something like that happened. <laughs> that was just the most oh, memorable Jesus. one, because I literally did, nobody else said anything. I was just like, okay then. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, no, that is a, that was a 
that happened that kind of stuff happened probably about nine or ten times in that one town and then a bunch more in uh happened a couple times in dallas not as much though uh and then happened a couple times in um shit where was the town that we lived in uh rose not roosevelt that was when i was living in utah um porter porter texas that's where i was living before i moved up here to washington and that happened a lot in porter <laughs> Like, yeah. a lot, a lot. More than I think, considering that the population of Porter is, like, 60% Hispanic, 10% black, and then just, like, white people. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, racism is hardly dead, and, uh, yeah. Ugh. Mm. Last week we proved that homophobia and transphobia is still alive and well, so that's a thing, too. <sighs> Oh, that got yeah. taken off Steam within, like, six hours of it being up. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Yeah, that, that I was... was... Like, I, I knew you when you were in Texas, didn't I? Yeah, you knew me. Yeah, like, I... Gen genuinely, I was terrified for your well-being while you were in Texas. Yeah, we had, we had just met not too long ago, because I had started... I had started, uh... Role-playing, um... Kristoff again... Mm, a few months before I moved up to Washington, so we'd probably known each other. I was bugging you on Steam and annoying you for probably about two months before then. Yeah. Literally annoying. That's all good. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. I I used to apparently I annoyed Max when they first met me because I would always message. Him. Shut up. No. I'm sorry. I did it. To, I did it because I knew you weren't okay, so I did it to take care of you. And no, thank you. But yeah, no. Texas is Texas is literal hell on earth. So, oh, well, when God. you live in a town called Sulphur Springs, <laughs> yeah. Wow. It sounds like straight out of fucking Fallout. It, I, it, well, actually, well, the thing is, like, Fallout's towns in Fallout New Vegas are all real. Um, I'm gonna look up. Oh, that game. That game. Yeah, me too. Fallout New so Vegas is that game. Sulphur Springs, Texas. And it isn't even spelled correctly. Like, Sulphur Springs is spelled P-H instead of F. Oh, uh, it makes me so mad. Um, let me look up. They, yeah, they're, uh, the area of the town is 21 miles, so it's a tiny fucking place. Uh, population as of 2010 was 15,449. Uh, yeah, it, it's a, it's just a shitty... It's oh god, yeah. I hate that place. I hate it so much. Oh, Texas. Although, uh, let me look up Roosevelt, Utah. So, this is where I lived in Utah for f three, four years. Uh, the city is five, or the town. I wouldn't even call it a town. I don't even know what the hell it is. It's five point three miles. The entire area. I What's live. It's, it's, I don't even know if I'd call it a village. The population isn't high enough. It's so tiny. It's, it's got a population of 6,000. Wow. That's only a thousand smaller than my hometown. Yeah, it's such a tiny area. I live down here. You can see, um, I'm showing Eli the, uh, the map of the city. Wait, that's the city? This is the whole, the, the red outline that's is the, the entire thing? city. Here, I'll link it in Skype for you guys, because it's actually hilarious to look at. Uh, I lived down here, and I used How to walk... How did that get to be part of the city and the rest of it didn't? I don't know, they annexed just a road. It's like um, a little corridor to another little chunk what? of city. Yeah. Uh, and the link this game Um, I used to live on... Do you see, like, that weird, like, uh... Oh, God, yeah, the airport, quote-unquote. It yeah, The municipal <laughs> airport was actually just a like it was just it was literally just a dirt track that that single prop planes could land and take off from um nice but yeah okay there's stewards which means that i lived yeah 800 east i lived right in here so nice. this is where i lived uh hey. i lived on 800 east that little roundabout next to uh state street is where i lived um and, oh god, Mama Leah's Pizza. Okay, this is gonna be another story. 
that I just... I don't know why I'm doing all this. We're going on another tangent because I can't. It's it's the story time with Gabby episode. So yeah, story yay. time with Gabby. Tell us a story. Back when back when I was still with my ex, and it was before our daughter was born. Um, we were living down. We were living in a. We were renting a house that had that used to be a two stall garage that had been converted. Our uh. Our fucking, um, furnace was in the middle of the living room. So we had, like, we had to build our entire living room around this furnace, and so we ended up pushing everything into a corner. I owned a, like, 16-inch TV and an Xbox 360 and a shitty laptop that I got for, like, a hundred bucks. But, and we were working at, like, McDonald's at the time. I was at work. My ex and our roommate ordered a pizza from Mama Leah's Pizza. And I know I, I, I've never had any of the pizza because they ate it. They used my card for my bank account. They ended up overdrafting because they didn't oh check beforehand. They overdrafted my account, and this is back before regulations have been put in that they couldn't overdraft you daily. So this pizza cost me $287. What? The, what? They didn't. They didn't tell me about this. All they did when I got home after working until three thirty in the morning because we I was working at McDonald's at the time and I had to do a uh, we had a um, corporate inspection coming in. So I was there like I was one of the only two people there and we were had literally detached the fryers and the grills and shoved them to the back and were like soaking the floor down with degreaser and stuff and getting it so that it was like brilliant white and looked really good um yeah. i got home and all they did was complain about how the pizza was burnt oh so i oh, paid my God. almost 300 dollars <laughs> for a fucking burnt pizza that i didn't even get any of God. Yeah, this is my life. How incredible! That kind of fucking incredible. But Max, you've known me long enough. That kind of sums yeah. up my life. Like yeah. a burnt, a, a paying three hundred dollars for a burnt pizza. I don't even get to have any of that. It sums up things yeah. fairly well. It really does, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's, I don't even know. I got nothing after that, because that's, now I'm just thinking about all the shit that happened in, in Utah and getting sad. Oh, Utah. Yeah. I will never Can I bring it a tangent? Oh, go for it. So, you mentioned yesterday about doing a sort of text-based game thingy to me yesterday on Skype. I'm not sure how public that is, and I may have just spoiled. Oh, no, I talked about it on Twitter for like a week straight um my friend sent me a link to this place called inkle yesterday and they do a game called 80 days which is where you sort of do it's a steampunk version of around the world in 80 days oh it's, yes it's like a, um well the guys who made it inkle they've also got inkle writer which is a software free software i think um to make your own text-based games i don't know if you had a program to do it or not uh yeah i use twine the, twine i'll get that a look up because after you mentioned it to me yesterday, I was like, ooh, maybe I could do one for Bodegaia, and got all interested. Um, but yeah, that's tangent. Just yeah, Twine is actually really cool. Uh, it's well, super, super, super simple. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Skype lag. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a link. Um, yeah, Twine is really cool in that it, um, it's just like this... It's super self-contained, and it's super, super simple to do, because everything is essentially just a hyperlink. So you have text that links to another thing, set of... Uh, excuse me, text. So making a... Yeah, I'm looking at this. This actually... This seems a bit more in-depth than Twine is. I'm gonna have to give this a shot. Um, how much does... Where do I download? Do I download? Is this... It runs in browser. Based? Okay, so it is like Twine. Um, yeah, the Twine also runs browser-based. They also have, like, a, a desktop version of it. Um, 
But Twine is super simple where it's just hyperlinks that link to other text that link to other text. And then you can, if you know CSS, you can add in like, um, you can add in sound effects and stuff. Um, Max knows a good Twine game, My Father's Long Long Legs. Oh. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, it's no, fantastic. No, 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 no. no, no. It's, it's no, a no, 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 no. brilliant game. Max, it's why so you know good. It? It's so good. No, 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 no. My father's long, no, long no, no, legs. No, no, no. Here, I will link it to you. No. Uh, I will. No, no, you no. don't have to open it, Max. It's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah, um. That's, that's my only experience with Twine games. Yeah, but you can do that kind of stuff. Uh, you can do really awesome things with Twine. Um. So I'm playing around with that, and also I'm going to close this, or else I'm going to end up playing My Father's Long, Long Legs. Uh, but And it's super easy to do, like, multiple paths, which is the issue I'm currently having with doing this damn Twine game, is I'm up to 37 different paths for the story to go. Calm down! I, I need to figure out how to start either chopping them off or bringing them back together, because... I cannot write this much. I already have to worry about writing Hunted. Um, that's... Write more Hunted, write more Hunted, write more Hunted. I'm... I <laughs> am, it's going slowly. I've only written about 300 words for the next part, because I'm, st I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do for this one. I'm thinking it's about... I think it's going to be a flashback. I'm not sure. Ugh. I don't want it to be, though, because it's going to be a sad one. I don't want to write sad things today. <laughs> No, uh, no I'm sad. gonna bookmark Inkle though, because that looks cool. But yeah, um, I don't know. I used to have um a bunch of choose your own adventure books when I was a kid, and I'd read them backwards. That's cheating. Yep. That is cheating. You're a cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. But they had great covers. <laughs> they had like the, the I don't know when they were from. <laughs> But they had these, like, amazing, like, old sci-fi covers. And I wish I still had them, but they're lost somewhere at my parents' house. Um, did you guys see that Goosebumps is coming back? I heard about oh, that. Oh, God. What? Yeah. Goosebumps. I, I heard Goosebumps is... Oh, I wasn't God. allowed to read Goosebumps. Um, apparently they're making a film. It's a oh. Jack Black film. It's coming out... Yeah, Jack Black, Amy Ryan... Holy shit. This has oh. actually got a pretty good cast in it. Jack Black oh, is playing R.L. Stein. <laughs> a young kid teams up with the niece of young adult horror author R.L. Stein after the writer's imaginary demons are set free on the town of Greendale, Maryland. This is amazing! Oh my God. Holy shit! So wait a minute, they're gonna have, oh my god, it's supposed to be set in the real world and all of the Goosebumps books come to life. Oh, that's awesome. And it's supposed to come out in October? Yes. It's supposed to come out October 16th. Oh my god, we need to go see this. That sounds fantastic. Uh, oh no. Oh no, now I'm just gonna be thinking about the Goosebumps movie forever. I've never read any of them. Oh, likewise. You've never read? Oh yeah, you had you you do were super sheltered though. You didn't. <laughs> I was also I had I your, was terrified of everything when I was a kid. You didn't leave your parents' property oh, until you were like. So I didn't start doing anything. 18. Like I watched my first horror movie at like seventeen, and like I was just really scared of everything as a kid. But yeah, and you don't do well with horror horror movies either. Mm -mm. Nope, I can play horror games, I can read horror comics and books, I cannot watch horror movies. I don't know why. Eh, it happens. Me. It's the establishing shots. Probably. No one ever looks up. Oh my god. <laughs> no one ever yeah. look up. Okay, so I'm also gonna link in the show notes something that it a buddy of mine, Justin, did he create he's one of the two on a show called now currently night attack formerly nsfw formerly bb live show but justin does a lot of characters on this show one of them is rl stein 
And his version of R.L. Stein lives alone, sits in his, uh, sits in his, um, uh, hot tub, drinking port and smoking poorly rolled blunts. <laughs> and <laughs> he does fairly the... accurate. My name is R.L. Stein. I live alone. I'm sitting in my hot tub drinking a bottle of port, and I'm smoking a poorly rolled blunt. <laughs> I'm R.L. Stein. I live alone. <laughs> and, oh god, I'm so I'm gonna link the first episode of NSFW that had that had the R.L. Stein character, because I just adore whenever Justin does a character. <laughs> I need to go find that, because I know after all the drama with Twit, Twit deleted the YouTube channel, which deleted all of the show backups and purged everything from the show from their site, so... Yeah, uh, there's a reason I don't listen to Twitch shows anymore. Um, uh, so fuck Leo Laporte. Uh, no, the, the I I don't know. I'm still rambling. Like I'm trying to keep everything going, but I just realized we're at an hour anyway. But anyway, I, I should have asked Rupert more questions, and I feel really bad, but I'm really bad at this. It's fine. I'm quite happy to sit and listen to you guys. So Rupert. Um. How would you like to do this, like, more than just this once? <laughs> Not regularly, because it's almost impossible to schedule everybody, but, like, every once in a while, we just drag you back on. Um. <clears throat> Was that a little squeak I heard? <laughs> no, no, no. Nope, nope, definitely not. Nope, no manly voice, Rob. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would love it. I would very much like that. Um, please. <laughs> <laughs> Max, I need you to draw a new head. Sure, no worries. I need you to draw Rupert's and I need you to draw Hayden. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> okay. Because I, I just send me the sketches, I'll line them up. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, since this has been a number, another rambly shotgun named Hitler Sheep, that is definitely the title. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay, okay, let's take a vote. There's four of us. I vote for botched four castration. Of us so we can have a tie. <laughs> I vote for botched <laughs> castration. Who votes for Hitler sheep? I vote for, I vote for Hitler I, sheep. I vote for Hitler sheep. I guess I'll vote for Hitler sheep. Okay, I, I lose. Don't have to deal with Yay. the tie. <laughs> the person who pays the damn hosting cost loses. Uh, <laughs> well, if you really want to call it, botched I'm the one who uploads it. If I want, it, it, I, I'm the one who uploads it and edits everything. I can fucking call it whatever I want, but it's gonna get called Hitler sheep. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's it for this episode, I think, because I'm... If you hadn't noticed, I'm really fucking out of it right now, and I don't know why. So, we're gonna hopefully do this again... How about once a month? Yes. That sounds awesome. Uh, how does once a month sound? For recording all the other... Good to me. Uh, I so. am squeaking hiccup at Tumblr. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm squeaking hiccup on Twitter. On Tumblr, I'm squeaking hiccups. Um, yep. I'm uh, Steam Powered Tea and Land of Bodegaia on Twitter. And if you just search Bodegaia on Tumblr, you should find it. And we've got a website, steampoweredtea.co.uk. And. Uh, Chronicler of Bodegaia WordPress thing somewhere. Um, thank you very much, Gabby and Max, for to me to be on the show. It's been awesome, and I've tried not to be a massive piece of fanboy trash, but um, <laughs> oh, please, yeah, the, the squeak happened, <laughs> <laughs> and it was adorable. Yes, well. Um, <laughs> Uh, Eli, what is your contact beats, my love? There is no Eli. I think Eli might be with Gabby. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Alright, cool. Filling time! <laughs> there we is go. Right? Hello.
And you can find Eli at Eli Kisses Rats on Tumblr and Twitter, and you can find me at Recurring V's on Twitter and Tumblr and YouTube. Uh, you can find all of our stuff at SpiderSquareProductions.com. You can find our video stuff at re- YouTube.com slash Recurring V's. And if you'd like to support us, because, hey, food is not uh, free and neither are computer parts or hosting, um, you can contribute at patreon.com slash SSP. Yeah, that's about it for this week, I think. And Eli has vanished, but anyway, yeah. Anybody got anything else? No. Thank you, Gabby. You're awesome. No, no, thank you for coming on. It was a much more interesting episode because of it. We got Thank to talk you. about Hitler sheep and everything. Uh, yeah, so we'll try to get, we'll try to, we'll attempt to get this organized like once a month or something. Uh, I don't know how often we'll actually be able to because of time, time zones, but we'll try to figure it out. Uh, anyway, uh, good night, everybody. Night. Good night.